I moved back home to Maine, uh, the coast of Maine, in the early 2000s. And one night I got out of the car and looked up and was like, oh my gosh, the Milky Way. This is, the stars were so bright and the sky was so black. It was an awe moment. If you look at a light pollution map, you can see in the state of Maine this um, big dark spot, which is uh, the place where there's little light pollution and you can see the Milky Way, you can see stars here that you can't see on most of the East Coast. This area uh, surrounding Katahdin has the largest areas of dark sky east of the Mississippi River. So dark sky preservation, which sounds like it's about bringing the stars back, which it does, is really about a much bigger issue. The real problems um, cover many different areas. One is if you live in a light polluted area, uh, you are at increased risk of breast or prostate cancer because it affects your body chemistry. Pollination, which we desperately need, it's not just for pretty flowers and trees, but your food has to be pollinated. So that can be lowered by as much as 60% in areas that are light polluted. And Americans, believe it or not, spend $3 billion a year paying for electricity to put on lighting that's going up in the sky. So we really are at a crossroads right now uh, with lighting. If we keep going the way we're going, the, the stars are gonna go away. We're gonna see fewer and fewer bird and insect species, more pollution, more glare, more issues. Flip side, people wake up to this and go, oh, this is a real problem. It's an easy fix and I save money? I'm in, let's do that. And everybody goes and does that. I hope that the amount of light that's coming from this region stays consistent, if not, is diminished over time. It means for the future that we stay connected to ourselves and our environment. And to really understand that we don't own it, we don't control it, but we have a tremendous impact on it. Our goal is to get everybody doing this everywhere. But if people can come here and learn about it, see that you can still have a very a nicely lit, safe area, but be doing it in a dark sky friendly way, that they'll go home and do that too. That's amazing. <laughs> if you eliminate a light, or you redirect a light, or you change the color of that light bulb, the result is you get to see the dark skies immediately. People come and step out of their cars and look up and go, oh my gosh, ah, and the wonder, the wonder and the awe, that's really what it's about. Um, and I also hope that the people that come here to see the dark skies take that experience and that information and take it home with them. We want to save the stars.